These are the three most hated things in Apex Legends. Let's do it. Hey, I get it. We all love the games that we play, but that's not to say that there aren't things we wish were better and we could hate just a little bit less. Let me say I love Apex and I'm a Season Zero player and criticism from the community is very important to the devs at Respawn. And hopefully they hear us, but ultimately it's their game and they decide what they want to change or not. So number one, randoms. Ah yes, randoms. We have all been there, haven't we? You're queuing up for a game of Apex Legends, you got your legend picks and go to land and both teammates die off spawn. Whether it be them doing their own thing, trying to 1v3 teams by themselves, or not getting your banner, we can all agree that randoms are the worst in Apex Legends. It's amazing how in a team-based game, everyone wants to do their own thing and not play as a team. They have a setting for it. It's called no fill. So turn on your no fill and play however you want. But if you're going to queue up in duos or trios, try to be a better teammate instead of being one of those randos that I'm talking about in this video. Let's not even talk about the randoms in ranked, which happen to be worse than the randoms in pubs. We all get it, you don't have a team or it's very hard to find players to play with in Apex Legends because everybody has such an ego, but I can understand why you have to play solo. Playing ranked is the ultimate team-based game mode out of all of them, and the ego on some of these randos in any game mode is astonishing. A big part of why you get queued up in all different types of random players is part of Respawn's matchmaking system, which is designed to get players into games as fast as possible. Respawn wants players to be able to join a game so quickly that it's going to pair you with randoms of any skill level, rather than players similar to your skill level, and this also applies in ranked. Finding good randoms in Apex is challenging, and it feels like having a fun experience with them is even harder. From all of the trolls to the Apex Ragers and just straight toxic players, randoms can be one of the worst ways to ruin your game. Take Ranked for example. Randoms in Ranked often don't play as a team. Each player expects you to adapt to their playstyle without communicating whatsoever, which ends up costing you the game and your precious RP. So try to be a good teammate when you're playing Apex Legends and find some players. There's a lot of discords, a lot of good ways to find new players to play with in Apex Legends. So get out there and just have fun. Number two, no comms. Apex Legends has been out for three years and it's amazing how players don't use their comms at all. Communicating to your teammates is one of the best forms of being a great teammate and will set you aside from other teams in Apex, especially in ranked when you get into diamond lobbies or higher. Comms in Apex give your team vital information like which legends you're fighting or seeing them off in the distance or what kind of shields they have, how much damage they've taken, how to position yourself and your team, strategies and angles, the list goes on. Not communicating any of these things and then when something bad happens, you turn your mic on and complain or rage about it doesn't help you or your team and more importantly, help you improve as a player. Communicating to your teammates especially helps in ranked play as the ranked wall seems to be around plat 4 to diamond 1. Cons in Apex can be difficult to understand, but practicing them, even if you're a solo player, can help you keep up with the terminology and make it easier to turn your gameplay into great gameplay. For example, you're in a fight and you call out which legends you're fighting, the damage you're doing, if their shields are cracked, which legends are one shot, or hey, I'm backing up to heal, you're all by yourself, or hey, I'm not with you, let's rotate to this building and get high ground. Remember, Apex is all about positioning and communication to each other will help you win so many more gunfights and more importantly, have more fun in Apex Legends. Aside from that, a struggle with communicating to your team is often players get into a tunnel vision mode where even if you are calming to your teammate, it's expected for them to play off of you or even worse, they do not hear what you're saying, which then hurts the team. And trust me, I've been guilty of this and been there plenty of times where my teammates are calling things out and I'm so tunnel visioned on what I'm doing, I don't hear it and it costs us to fight. Apex is a very fast paced game and so is the communication in it. Take any pro team for example, the comms are on point even though it's so hectic. It's just a skill that takes time to learn and apply in your game, but saying nothing at all and then dying, turning your mic on to complain is the worst way to communicate. Number three, leaving the game. 
This one ties into the last two most hated things in Apex because nothing worse in this game is having a sweaty wraith on your team that drops and lands at construction, gets shot once, and she instantly leaves the game without even being downed. Now I get it, getting knocked off drop isn't fun or ideal for anyone when you want to frag out. Leaving the game really hurts the other players in the Apex community as well as make your teammates extremely mad. There's so many times in games where I would get your banner or res you, but it's just people's attention spans are just, they're not patient. And just to quit, to go start up another game. Your banner sticks around for almost a minute, which is plenty of time to finish a fight, leave, circle back to grab it, or even grab it and get out of the fight, and then go respawn you. The biggest issue I will add to this is yes, the respawn system in Apex Legends is a bit broken. It takes so long to res a teammate that it can be discouraging. 10 seconds for the res to happen and then you can only drop straight down. Not to mention the res ship is a beacon alerting all other teams, hey, we're down players, come over here and just kill us. I agree with you there, but there's still no reason to instantly leave the game when you die. The other biggest nudge to players that do this is leaving when you're not. You haven't been even fully killed yet and you're leaving. Your teammates can res you, which is even faster than being respawned from a beacon. The biggest problem with players leaving the game so quickly is it destroys certain aspects of the game and skills players need to learn, like how to 2v3, 1v3 in a fight when a teammate has been knocked, or how to play off banners, or how to use teammates' knockdown shields as cover in a fight. All of these things go out the window when you instantly leave a game. I believe Apex has gotten to a point where players want to drop and frag out and if they don't get a perfect start, they leave and start up a new game because you can instantly get thrown into another one because there's no wait times in Apex Legends, which further hurts the respawn system in Apex. So do everyone a favor, Legends, and stay in the game. If you're interested in seeing more tips on how to help improve your gameplay in Apex Legends, check out these other videos on the channel. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.